I don't know if I know that we noticed my videos before, but if you look here at this finger, the way it goes out like that, and like uh, if you look on camera, it doesn't look as weird. But in real life, you can really see how bent it is. So I bent it. So I bent it. So I bent it. So I bent. I bent it. Bent it. Bent it. I bent. I bent. I bent it. Isabel, you can really, you can really see how bent it is, and that is because I broke my finger. Would I have been? Six. Oh my god, wow. That's like six years ago. It's probably like six years ago. It's like six, six, six years ago. Um, I broke it about six years ago as well. Um, at school, at school, at school, doing P E P E P E. Play, we were playing basketball. We were playing basketball during P E P E P E. And we were points in the basketball along the court. So someone was points in the basketball. 
exactly how it happened I don't actually remember exactly how it happened if the ball if someone bounced the ball and it went back up and bent my finger back or if they tried to hit the ball out of my hand and bent it back but either way either way either way my finger 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 literally I'm not gonna in case because in case in case um, anyone who, 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 who is gonna watch this on YouTube is squeamish um, it was just it was not nice looking it was just not the color it was not the color that it was supposed to be it was not the color it was supposed to be and it was so 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 swollen it was so so swollen like my finger was humongous like it was so fat it was so Um, but, um, and I went in and I ran it under cold water. I ran it under cold water, under cold water. And it was like, it was really sore, but it wasn't like, like I didn't go like, oh my god, my fingers broke. Like I wasn't crying. Like I was just kind of like, oh, I hurt my finger. I'll have to put ice on it. Like I really wasn't thinking that it was that big of a deal. As about, and I have a really bad pain tolerance. Oh, well, I'm starting to think that I don't have a bad pain tolerance, but. I have like, uh, like I get into my head, I get into my head about things, about things, about things, about things, about things, about things. Um, I get into my head and then panic and then like convince myself things are worse than they are, which is what happened here. But basically, 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 that's about what happened was I just ran my hand under cold water and got some ice, got some ice, got some ice, and then I went and sat back in the in, in, in the sports hall, in the sports hall, in the sports hall. And my PE teacher, who I literally hated, I literally hated, she um, looked at my finger and she said, she said, she said, she said, Gary, your finger is broken. Your finger is broken. And I was like, my finger, my finger, my, my finger is not broken. And she was like, no, it definitely is. Like, no, no one's finger should be that size and it was so fat like it literally was like humongous humongous she was like it's very clearly broken you need you need you need you need you need you need she said Gary you need to go to A and E you need to go to A and E 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 what do they go oh I feel like in America and stuff they call it the ER the ER it is it's like our version of the ER is A and E A and E A and E started crying that's when I started crying or um was on the verge of crying was it wasn't because my finger was sore or because like I was in pain or anything it was because the the thought of having to go to the hospital and like be treated for a broken finger like stressed me out so much and I literally started crying I literally started crying but I in fact did not go to the hospital as well I didn't I did not go to the hospital I didn't I did not. I ignored. I ignored her. Her advice. Her advice. Her advice. Her advice. Um. But I think. I think the. The my. Uh, this was like I was really young. Um. I would have only been fifteen actually. I was only fifteen when this happened, so it would have been seven years ago. Seven years ago. Seven years ago. But um. Basically, um. My boyfriend at the time. My boyfriend at the time. At the time. At the time. His brother was a doctor, and he like more or less confirmed for me you know it's definitely broken um but i just never went got it fixed i just never went got it fixed got it fixed got it fixed and it healed completely wrong it healed completely wrong obviously 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 and now i just have like a really dodgy finger a really dodgy finger so that is how much i dislike going to the hospital or the doctors as well so i could never ever ever do your job i could never ever ever do your job ever do your job um even though watching Grey's Anatomy watching Grey's Anatomy makes me really want to um do your job how did you like how were you inspired by anything have you always wanted to be a doctor um or like what is it what is it as about what is it that made you decide to go into the medical field the medical field the medical field tell me all about it tell me all about it excuse me excuse me are you paying attention I need you to tell me I need I, I, I need you I need you to tell me exactly how you decided to become a doctor a doctor a doctor a doctor a doctor a doctor 
She, she struggles 